Okay, this is going to be a KM6 LYW radio quickie, and uh, honestly, I need to talk to you guys. Uh, why didn't anyone tell me about WOAD? W-O-A-D, WOAD. Uh, it is a full-featured WinLink client for Android. How cool is that? Um, it operates uh, with a KISS TNC, either over uh, Wi-Fi or networking or Bluetooth serial port protocol. Um, of course, Wode works with the DigiPi that we talk about uh, on this channel. And of course, I've got a DigiPi stuck to the side of this thing. It doesn't have a monitor or sound card because um, it doesn't need one. And it's got a USB cable uh, that connects to the uh, sound card that's built into the Yaesu 991. Um, so Wode totally connects to that. Um, it's Like I said, it's in the Google Play Store. When you install the app, it looks like this. Um, you can set up sessions. It's kind of session-oriented. So I set up a session of a WinLink server called W6SAR. And we just click on it. I'm going to say edit so you can see what's in it. Uh, it's a protocol. This is a packet. Uh, the settings is the call sign. The TNC settings is going to be type KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. Um, it could be audio as well. And the configuration, of course, for here, since I have a DigiPi, I'm going to use the Bluetooth serial port protocol, and uh, I'll make sure on the DigiPi that I've got uh, the TNC fired up. In fact, uh, there's a web interface for the DigiPi, and uh, we can see that that is uh, 1200 baud TNC is active. Of course, that's running Direwolf under the hood. That's that Pi you just saw stuck to the back of the radio. And then we just go over to Woad, and I'm going to go back, back, back. And I'm going to click on this session, which is a server called W6SAR-10. And I'm just going to say start down at the bottom. And uh, it's started. And my radio is actually making uh, packet radio noise. It's transmitting. It's checking my for email right now in my inbox. Up to not obvious, but if you click on logs, you can see it happening at the top of the display there. So just checked email and didn't get any. And, of course... Like every other email client, you know, it has an inbox, outbox, all that. We can do a, a, a new message. And you can enter a call sign, amateur radio call sign. Or you can enter in an actual email address like, uh, you know, foo uh, at bar.com. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to enter that. I'm not going to give away someone in someone's email address here. <laughs> but what is so cool? Then the subject can be subject here. And uh, this, you know, is the body of the message. And then we say post outbox. It's in our outbox now. Cool. And we go over to sessions. This part's a little weird how we have to restart a session. Um, we're going to click on start. And the session started and it should start sending that email I just posted to my outbox. We can see that happening on the radio here. The volume's a little low. I can turn that up. Who doesn't like the sound of AX.25 traffic in the morning? And of course, the Digify Pi is the guy doing all the work. He's running Direwolf under the hood. And the Yesu is sending my message. Let's go back to Wode. Um, there's no, like, progress bars or anything. You know, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see more, you know, status of what's actually happening. And, of course, if I go out to uh, sent messages, you know, the message is there. It was sent. This is it. Um, so that's Wode. How cool is that? Anyways, this has been a KM6 LYW quickie. I just wanted to mention Wode to Android users out there, specifically Android users that have built themselves a DigiPi that we talk about extensively on this channel. Of course, it'll work with any uh, KISS TNC. That could be the Mobile Link D or, uh, or, or something similar. Uh, so Wode, check it out. KM6 LYW Radio, and I'm clear. Thanks, guys.